What's up everyone? And welcome to Swola 77 Can we try that again? I have to have a white guitar pick and throw that Okay, this is big, you're gonna see it Welcome everyone, it's Sunday, 8 o'clock CET How are you guys doing? I'm perfectly fine, alright, the pics is here The pics, <laughs> the dog, the pics I, I just recently bought this little uh, bed for her I, I'm in Hundenbed In German so she could be with me uh, at all times underneath my desk and I think she likes it I don't know if you watched my second channel, Old Angler number 2 but this past Friday, you know, I made a video uh, showing a new pickup for solar guitars the Duncan Solar Plus obviously like the, the core pickup of the solar guitars line has been the Duncan Solar now there's a Duncan Solar Plus which is a new Onico 8 pickup which is way hotter and it sounds like this You're probably not going to notice a difference because I'm using, you know, a shit ton of gain but just saying, new guitar, hello and uh, new day, new Sunday What is this guitar pick I'm using? Players Pick Podcast What is this? I don't know, but it's very... It's very thin I have no idea where it came from But I guess it's been in my little pick thing right here Alright, let's head on with the news, sorry So first up with the news for today What day is it today? The 13th of March maybe is that Fender gives Guitar Center a piece of 80s hair metal action with exclusive Ferrari red and neon green player Stratocasters Okay, okay It's not uncommon that, you know, dealerships like this they make a uh, uh, special, you know, purchasing from a guitar brand and they make it a little bit exclusive for, you know, that uh, dealership right there So basically Guitar Center in this case They probably bought a shit ton of these just to have something exclusive and you know much like the uh, the boogie street guitars with washburn guitars for instance you know the the, the boogie street uh, uh, southern cross for instance hello that was built for boogie street guitars Th these become you know rarities sometimes let's take a look at this i uh, personally think that these are very bland looking and you know maybe they could have uh, come up with something different but maybe that's just me and you know maybe i'm not that much into pastel colors like these and when I think uh, about the 80s and the early 90s I think neon as, you know, being bright as <laughs> You know, bright as Just like my... Uh, just like this guitar right here You know, this This guitar That's a neon color for you right there that, 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 It just screams Oh, oh, oh no, no, no I f***ed it up, I f***ed it up Sorry guys You know, I do have wireless lavalier microphones but they don't sound as good as the wired ones That's why I'm still using the wired one here because, you know, I'm just sitting down I have a cable going straight to the audience face It's just so... so convenient And the dog is still there Hello dog It's impossible not to pet the dog Have you ever had a dog? No? Okay, well you should try it out It's f***ing amazing A third player Stratocaster uh, uh, Ferrari Yellow Mall is also available at the US retail uh, giant after an identical 6 room motors was released by UK retailer Andertons last month Oh, so it's, it was not exclusive. Okay, great. Next piece of news. Still going with Fender. They unveil 2022 Custom Shop Master Built Prestige and Limited Edition Annual Collection models. Where is the anime guitar? Okay, let's just start. Uh, Greg Fessler Prestige Ghost. I don't know why, why I read uh, Clown. Ghost Clown Telecaster. Ghost Town Telecaster. Ghost to town. Let's ghost to town, everyone. This really adds to the authentic age. Oh, uh, that looks. And it's my favorite Telly bodywood. Kind of cool. All right, Dennis Galushka Prestige Moto Jazzmaster. Now this I like. Look at that. Holy shit, that looks great. All things perloid. Well, <laughs> look at that thing. That's just straight up perloid all over the place. Might be a little tacky, like a tad tacky, but no, I like it. Oh, Yuri Shishka Prestige Quilted 60s Stratocaster. Uh, bare bones. Looks fairly cool. Jason Smith Prestige Electric C Gems Esquire. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe not my first choice if I want to spend thirteen thousand fucking dollars on a guitar. Uh, just saying. But someone out there might be really happy. I mean, these are going to be collector's items. They only they only made one of these. 
Uh, Raw and Foreign Prestige Hawaiian Dream Resonator. Okay, Resonator guitar. The Hawaiian Dream will set you back an eye watering $36,000. Who has these kinds of money? Okay, Skeleton. Now we're talking. This guy's a metalhead. Paul Waller Skeleton Telecaster. $21,000. Holy shit. Is that a real skeleton right there? Canvas painter I discovered on Instagram. The of course, Instagram. The base of all artists nowadays. I think my favorite one was... Uh, was it this one? Maybe this one. Yeah. Just because of how tacky it is. Slash says he still gets self-conscious playing in guitar stores. No shit. I mean, playing guitar stores is the worst thing ever. I mean, you're sitting there playing through stuff that you never played before. You picked up a guitar from the wall. It's not set up for you. You play through a rig that's you never played before and you sit there and try to make something sound good it's absolutely horrible so i can definitely see myself in slash in this case you're also surrounded by a guitar store full of guitar players that are better than you of course it's gonna be terrible he says guitar stores can be dangerous from a financial point of view ah i did not know this <laughs> you go and looking for one thing he says and then you see something else that you don't necessarily need but you feel you have to have it and you end up buying it well that's how it is when you're rich you know but it makes a lot of sense i have this feeling too except that i actually don't purchase gibson salutes elvis presley with two new signature acoustic guitars how many years since elvis died 1977, okay. The SG200 is based on an acoustic that was given to Presley as a gift at a recording session at RCA studio in the mid-60s. The King would go on to use the guitar extensively on stage and later gifted it to his friend Marty Lacker at Graceland in 1976. One year before his passing. <gasps> Supposed passing. Passing? <laughs> Supposed passing. Oh, he's still alive. People are gonna eat that up. Look at this. Holy shit, that looks great. You know, this makes me wonder how many signature guitars of dead people are we gonna have in a couple of years? Like, I'm sorry, it, it might sound a little morbid to talk about this, but I'm just thinking the guitar players that have been in our history, that have been iconic, that still has a signature guitar somewhere. I mean, we have Fender and Jimi Hendrix, for instance, and we have uh, Elvis with Gibson, obviously, Les Paul. Obviously, that Les, that's Les Paul, this is a signature guitar. Believe it or not. I mean, how many of these icons will stay for the longest time? I mean, we have Dean and Dimebag, which is, you know, not going to be a thing now, but they're going to make something else. Eddie Van Halen? I'm just saying, how many of these are going to stick through the times? It's going to be interesting seeing. Uh, I'm just speculating a little bit. But then again, is Elvis really dead? I think it's real dead. Rest in peace. Yvette Young, uh, incredible guitar player, by the way. She's saying, I never really felt like I got good on guitar. The way I spend my time is still very much based around improving. Holy shit. That's me right there. That exact feeling is me. You know, guitar playing is a constant process of you learning more and more or becoming better or trying to become better. So I don't think Yvette is uh, alone in this. I'm in on this too. You know, I don't really spend time improving. That's the difference between <laughs> between us two. I just sit here and do my shit. And you know, I, I write to I write songs with the abilities that I have. And if I come to a solo and want to write a impressive solo, you know, I try and improve so I can play the solo. That's one thing, but I don't constantly practice. But I have a feeling that people that are like this, you know, that they feel that they're not good enough on guitar. They're probably really, really great, but everyone knows their shortcomings. It's just that they don't show it to people. So a little good discussion there. And uh, Yvette Young, incredible guitar player. Some metal news. Firespawn plotting an LG Petrov tribute EP with guest vocalist. Today marks one year anniversary of uh, Lars Joran Petrov's death. The singer of Entombed and Firespawn, obviously. I saw the crowdfunding he did and was like, oh shit, he has cancer? Holy shit. And then it went like this, man, and he passed away fucking cancer man in my opinion one of the more iconic death metal singers of our time he had his own voice that no one can replicate and obviously everything he did with entomb is just legendary man and you know makes me makes me a proud swede entombed makes me feel like you know i'm very proud about the metal scene in stockholm and in sweden so you know very proud about entombed and uh, lg petro rest in peace let's watch something okay 
Watch, Exers joined live by Rob Flynn and ex-guitarist Rick Reynold. They're playing A Lesson of Violence. Yeah. You know, seeing this pit right here makes me really happy. You know, I haven't been to a show in a good while. I really want to go to a show now seeing this. Exodus, man, that's Gary Holt. He does not like the Kardashians. Gaudier Amar Duplantier shares new drum solo, Movement. One of the best... Uh, <laughs> one of the best guitar drummers of our time. No, one of the best drummers in ML right now, in my opinion. Have you seen these drums? I haven't touched these drums in like three weeks. I, I've just had a shit ton to do, and you know, Elden Ring, man, Elden Ring. Elden Ring also needs practice, you know? And right now, I'm playing more Elden Ring than drums. Uh, that's the stupidest excuse ever, but uh, there's just been other things, you know? I mean, how good is this guy? Man, you know, he reminds me that, you know, Mario and Joe of Gojira reminds me a lot about Dimebag and Vinny, but in their own way. You know, obviously they don't sound the same, but they still have that brother groove going. You can't really compare them because Pantera versus Godra, it's com a completely different beast. You know, I just get the same vibe. You know, fucking hell. Brothers and Mel. There has been new music coming this week. Hello, new Septic Flesh. Hello, where is it? Why am I saying hello? Well, Septic Flesh has released a new single called Herophant, which is almost like Elephant, but it's a hero. Hierophant. I don't know what what does that mean? Hierophant. Is that an animal? Utsteller of Heilige Ting. It's a person who brings religious con congregants into the presence of that which of deemed holy. Oh shit. Okay, it's a it, it's a word. Septic Flesh is a band that's really grown on me for the past couple of years. Uh, I think it was when Krim joined the band. I started listening to them and like, holy shit, I missed out on a lot of things. Ugh. Ugh, it's just disgusting, man. It's a disgusting song. Ugh. I feel the sweat. Ugh. Ugh. You know, imagine going and seeing this on a show right now. And then last but not least, Meshuga released yet another single from their upcoming album, Immutable. The title fits perfectly for where we are as a band. We're older now, most of us are in our 50s, and we settle into who we are. Even though we've been experimenting all along, I also think we've been the same since day one. The way we approach things and why we still make new albums, uh, and why we still sound the way we do, it's immutable. Okay. Humanity is immutable too. Oh shit, well, calm down. Calm down, shit. The single's called Light the Shortening Fuse, and it's heavy as Obviously, it's the new Meshuggah, just boss on fucking heavy as shit. You know, something that strikes me is that this sounds fairly uptuned for Meshuggah. What is this in? What key? Is this E or B? Okay, it's B, uh, B flat, basically. Seven string, maybe? I'm just trying to analyze here. Um, I remember the guys were talking about going from 29 inch eight uh, string guitars going to 27 again. Uh, 27 inch 8 strings. Maybe they're moving back. You know, you can't go too low anymore, man. You have to go up. Just saying a small little side note. Oh! They went down. I heard it. Let's go back. Birdo. What's that? A flat? Okay, cool. Okay, last but not least, Five Year Old Prodigy covers classic Green Day song on every instrument. Okay. New project. Guitar or Are, Is he really sitting with logic at five years old? What? Open the library. He sounds like me when I was 30 years old trying to navigate logic. And he's f***ing five. It's one of these Ibanez, uh, small Ibanez guitars too, that's so cool. <laughs> Recording, arranging, effects, editing, and all performance of guitars and drums by this five-year-old. Okay, let's do this. Fucking hell. What?
Isn't it f***ed up when, uh, you know, we live in a world where a five-year-old produces and records better content than me of 40 years old? That's so f***ing weird. And that, my friends, was the news. And that was Sunday with Ola for you right there. Last week's uh, live stream of the Sunday with Ola Rich Challenge uh, went so-so because uh, they changed out the windows on that side of the office. So I had to tear everything down on that side. So I couldn't do a live stream. But tomorrow, I promise, I will make another live stream for the Sunday with Ola contenders. If you want to be a part of the Sunday with Ola contenders, you can download the drums uh, in this video for the intro that I was playing in the intro. And you can make your own riffs and I'll check you uh, out next Monday. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to check out the contributions from last week's Sunday with Ola. And with that said, I mean, the dog hasn't done shit today. Are you okay? Long day today. I'm so happy. Oh shit, I can't film that way. There's there's some secret guitars over there. I can't. That's why you're only seeing this side of the uh, of the the Sunday with Ola today. There's secret guitars standing over there. I can't show them. Anyways, guys, I'm so happy I got a dog <laughs> again. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this cuddly face right there. What? Look at that. Huh? The cutest dog. Cutest dog. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Good, thank you.